Well, as if we haven't had enough of it already, that wind, it's been relentless the last several days. Seems like it's been windy all month long out there. Well, we got more of it on the way. Much stronger wind in the forecast starting late tomorrow morning. The strongest, the highest wind speeds will come tomorrow evening into early Friday. So if you're traveling, that's probably when we're going to see some of the higher gusts. So be careful. Yeah, if you're towing a trailer or in a high profile vehicle, not going to be fun to try to keep it in control. High temps tomorrow hits the warm before the storm will actually jump up into the 50s for a few of us, at least here in the Snake River Plain. And that's way above average for the last day of February, an extra day of February this year, at least with a leap day. And then we have rain and snow likely out of this next front. And it is a strong front. It's just along the coast of Washington, Oregon, and it will blow across the eastern part of those two states tomorrow and arrive into East Idaho late tomorrow night. And that's one reason why we're going to see uh, some of the strongest winds. And then behind it, the rain will turn to snow. So if you don't get snow tomorrow night, you can definitely see some snow at least later in the day on Friday, and then more snow expected for a lot of us Saturday, even into Sunday, as we turn a bit colder. It won't be 50 degree temperatures for highs this weekend, that's for sure. We got 50 mile per hour winds over 50 miles per hour, about 55 wind mile per hour gusts expected tomorrow for uh, for the Snake River Plain, and then higher winds expected in the Lemhi County up in southwestern Wyoming. They're under a high wind warning for the daytime tomorrow. So yeah, we're all gonna get quite a bit of wind out of this. And some of the mountains could get a hefty amount of snow. We're talking heavy snow and wind. Bad combination, wind speeds as high as 60 miles per hour, especially in the pink areas. We're looking at one to two feet of snow likely in Island Park out of this round. Uh, Jackson, they're under a winter storm watch, so heavy snow possible anywhere from eight to 16 inches. And then Soda Springs, five to 10 inches possible winter storm watch. That includes the mountains around Pocatello, but not necessarily Pocatello itself. And of course, this winter storm warning, the pink areas stretches all the way west into the central mountains of the Gem State. So for now, we'll just call it dry. 30 for a low temperature in Pocatello. A little bit of a breeze out there. I think we'll stay pretty much breezy most of the night. Then right before morning, they'll back off and then start picking up again. Now, Frattle Falls, 26 for low, partly cloudy sky above. Barely a breeze out there. Enjoy, yeah. Will definitely be a lot, uh, a lot windier, especially this time tomorrow. Wind speeds will crank up to about 35. These are sustained wind speeds with gusts as high as 55 starting tomorrow night into early Friday. There's the warmth tomorrow up to 53 degrees, a good 10 degrees warmer than it was this afternoon. And looks like temperatures will also be in the 50s over in American Falls. Blackfoot, you'll hit 50. And then we get a bit colder just north of Idaho Falls, 43. That's still not bad for you, Rexburg. Now, your southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven-day forecast. A lot of wind the next couple of days. The snow or the rain turns to snow. And then it's all snow for your Saturday and Sunday, the first weekend of March. It's a little backwards. I think we had that last weekend when we were in the 50s. I know fall seven day forecast. We got rain and snow, temperatures cooling off. Last day of the month tomorrow, rain and then snow. That's tomorrow night. We'll probably see some sunshine in the morning. So day will probably start off nice and that wind cranks in. And that will also be the case for black, but we get colder this weekend. We'll even get above freezing on Sunday. Teton area, look at all that. So the heaviest snow Friday and Saturday with even more snow on Sunday as temp temperatures continue to drop. Central mountains, we got wind and rain tomorrow, and then a chance of snow Friday morning and more wind. Then it's back to all snow and even colder on Sunday.